Only two sides remain in contention to win silverware. Who's it going to be on this colossal occasion? There is no margin for error. It's Inter, they face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. It has been all about getting to this stage, and two teams have made it. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined by Stuart Robson, as always on these special occasions for commentary. It's Inter versus Manchester United. Well, Derek, we've got two very good teams here. Both like to play on the front foot. Both have some great individuals. This should be a really entertaining game. I'm looking forward to this one. United finding space on the wing. It's a perfect challenge. Can he find the net? They got a good palm on it. And this is how it looks for Inter. Jan Zoma is the goalkeeper. Alessandro Bastoni plays alongside Benjamin Pavard in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Marcus Turan. The opposition starting 11. Well, in this shape, unless their wing-backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. Dangerous ball, and a decent save, full credit. And a short corner, let's see. Sofian Amrabat. Bruno Fernandes has it. United might be able to cash in, but timely defending when it mattered. Terrific talent, Nicolo Barella, and certainly a player who we would expect to influence the game. What might we see from him in this match? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Diogo Dallo. Really sitting deep now, that could be problematic. Oh, that's an interesting pass. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Barella. The ball with Martinez. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. It's a corner. And the short option preferred. Well, he read the delivery superbly, but couldn't quite keep the header down. Bruno Fernandes has it. United couldn't keep it. Matteo Damian trying to open them up. And a fantastic diving save.
Corner kick played in. Well, the goalkeeper made it look as though there was no pressure on him whatsoever. Bruno Fernandes has it. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Bruno Fernandes. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Fernandes. And quick thinking defensively. Federico Di Marco. Chalanoru. Promising pass. And he's beaten him here. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. More than decent this from United. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Juan Bisaka. Bruno Fernandes. And it's with Amrabat. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Now well, that'll be a free kick. any scraps that time well, there we have it this has been a really poor game so far the players need to pick up the tempo and be a lot braver with their passing and their movement this can only get better feeding it through again the vision to play this through ball is superb and when he gets onto it he decides to go for power it's a really emphatic finish which gives the keeper no chance The ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1 0. Mickey Tarian. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Tuham. And options in the centre. Well, it still could be dangerous. And so it is, the first half story has been written. So back underway with Inter looking to find an effective route back into the game. Pavard. Turan. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up.
Saka. Well, he's got past his man. He could pick out a teammate. Well, the attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Matteo Damian. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Chalanolu. Now attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. You have to say, it's really good technique. He is such a good technician. But on that occasion, it's not quite the shot he was looking for. Here's one Bisaka. Bisaka Bruno Fernandes has it and keeping it out good piece of defending might work out oh a tremendous reflex action there from the keeper well he didn't have long to react did he but that's a top class save I have to say Now sending it in and swept out of there. And the penalty has been given here. A chance to extend the lead. down the middle of the goal. It's really good technique and also a bit cheeky. 2-0 now and back on the way. Tuham. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Here's a change for Manchester United. Reduce the deficit. Keeper did his job to begin with. That ball was put into the right area, but no one able to capitalise. Well, credit to him for the challenge and the throw in conceded. Nerazzurri regaining possession. Decent position this for United to find themselves in. Now the cutback. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. It might be. Gets in the way once more. And clears the danger. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Poilund. 
Back with McTominay. Oh, big opportunity. Just couldn't get it through. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Playing it in. And just wide. There really wasn't much in that at all. Francesco Acerbi Alessandro Bastoni now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now Pavard on the ball Bastoni Miki Karian Federico Di Marco. Oh, fancy footwork. And looking towards the back post. Cleared away comprehensively. Sofian Amrabat. Now Casemiro. Anthony. That's a good-looking ball. Martinez. And a goal to tighten things up. They've thrown themselves a lifeline. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch-perfect. While the movement in the box is equal to it, it's such good timing. And what a goal. Well, he's so frustrated. He knows this will be tense now. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Enter fighting against the clock and the scoreline, but still they believe. Nicky Tari and waiting. Making sure nothing came of it. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. He got a good palm on it. Being pressed and pressed high. Mkhitaryan! Oh, I can't believe it! Twists and turns in the closing stages. And it's anyone's guess who's going to lift the trophy. Incredible! Let's take another look, and it's a very good goal. And they deserve it, you have to say. They've been excellent. Well, you've really got to give credit to the entire team, because this was a bit like climbing Mount Everest. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Bruno Fernandes has it. And easily intercepted. And still they are locked together. Inter remain on the attack near the end. On to Juan Bissaka. Crossing opportunity and a chance for Manchester United now from the corner late on in this game. Over it comes and he 
he struck the post. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time. And you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Sloppy in possession from Inter. Able to skip past his man. A terrific piece of goalkeeping. Pavar. Throw in to Manchester United. Mount. And it's with Amrabat. Christian Eriksen now. Intercepting it intelligently. Barella. Davide Fratesi. Well timed tackle. Bruno Fernandes has it. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. Well, couldn't keep it in. And as a play it goes, throw in coming up here. Bruno Fernandes has it. Sofian Amrabat. And a chance to whip it in here. Eriksson must take the lead here. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. Well, back underway, and a glut of goals here. 3-2. Francesco Acerbi. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Well, that's it for the first period of extra time. Let's see what the second has in store. Well, the second period of extra time commences. What drama do we have in store for us? a quality pass the save was a good one <laughs> playing it short got a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag short option preferred and will the cross work out for them 
Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And a tidy challenge. Time and the scoreline against Inter, but they're not out of this. Barella. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Barella. Must be. Late drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Well, you can see Ten Hag's frustration. They've completely lost their focus here. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Scott McTominay. Christian Eriksen now. Diogo Dallo. Hoylund. Manchester United venture forward. It's still alive. Well, nothing comes of it. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Well, a fantastic final. And it's going to end in the most nerve-shredding way possible with a penalty shootout. a penalty shootout about to commence and as a player well the Panenka has duly fooled the goalkeeper Plinical as always in front of goal his turn to try to convert from the spot and confidently converted and the keeper makes the all-important save what a big moment so lethal in front of goal and he steps up to take his penalty and the penalty converts it here well he's gone for finesse and it's really paid off and so the tension levels have been ratcheted up to full blast and he scores a goal now, and his team will prevail. And there it is! That brings it to a conclusion, and a contrast in emotions. One team joyful, the other absolutely devastated. Well, what drama, what scenes, and what a good finish to this game. It really has been exhilarating. Well, in football, you don't forget these moments in a hurry. Due reward for their persistence and their overall excellence. Well, it really has been engrossing today. Such a tight game, but you have to feel sorry for the losers. They were so close, but yet so far away. And the party mood has enveloped the stadium. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. for the moment of confirmation the trophy presentation well this is what they were dreaming of before the game to come and pick this trophy up what a performance from them yes a performance that has impressed absolutely everyone and now it comes down to holding that piece of silverware aloft the sweet taste of success
It has been quite the journey, and it comes to an end in style on the big stage. And now the celebrations can begin. Not just the players, but also the fans, the coaching staff, everybody involved with this club. What a performance it's been. And the celebrations will be continuing long into the night. I think we can say that without any fear of contradiction. And it's great to celebrate with the fans. They've made so much noise here. They've got right behind their team. They certainly have. And the players greatly appreciate that. Always a joint effort on these big occasions. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.